Hello, this is War Machine 395 It's been ages since I posted a video. And I've been very, very busy, so... It'll probably still be ages before I post another one. But, um... Th this is kind of time-sensitive, I guess. And it's something that's important, I think. For, for the gun community as a whole. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, what's happened with the GBWC. Been a little bit of opinion, maybe a bit of advice. Um, anyway, so I'll be titling this, this video the, the GBWC Fallout. I was tempted to call it the GBWC Fallout 76. It uh, felt topical at the time. Um, enough of that stupid joke, though. Um, anyway, I've been wanting to, to say this since I, what I had heard what's been going on with the DBWC in, the 20, in 2018 in the U.S. specifically. Um, I feel like there is a lot more to this than just just that, and I felt like I wanted to address uh, that as best I could. Now, a lot more of this controversy is uh, centered around the winner of the U.S. GBWC, Gundam Nerd. Congrats to him, by the way. Um, but I wanted to provide some more general advice to the Gundam community as a whole. You know, we've got a lot of room to grow and stuff, and, and it's important. So, now, one of my favorite lines to come out of Build Fighters was, Gunpla is freedom. I, I mean, that line is often taken out of context a lot. But, uh, you know, I would expand that to, Mechas are freedom. Any builder designer should be able to go as far as they want to go, and it should be okay for anybody to have a critical or dissenting opinion. I personally have a lot of fun building and modding my kits to match my own taste, and I'll be the first to admit that my tastes don't necessarily line up with what others like. You take the criticisms with a grain of salt, some are constructive, and will help you improve your craft, and some are just chaff. Just that, you can ignore, ignore them. Just let them watch over you. It'll be fine. So, on the screen, at uh, this point, uh, this is some of my handiwork. It's a, it's a Master Grade Zeta Plus that I completed earlier this year. And it, it, it's probably my best work to date. And at the same time, I can admit that it's still pretty rough. It certainly isn't canon, and it's very much built to my own taste. But I have gotten plenty of both flack and compliments in person and on the internet for it. Um, I personally frequent a, a hobby show that's local to me. Um, it's the Capital Area Modeler Society Spring Show. It happens every year. They've been going for ages. And, you know, it's it's run by a lot of, well, car modelers, really. So they don't have much interest in sci-fi stuff. So I'm kind of an oddball in the mix. I mean, the sci-fi category kind of grows every year, but, you know, there, there's some general disdain for all things sci-fi. Eh, what can you expect, right? So, you, you take the flack, and there's still things to work, even, even among, you know, the good and the bad. Alright, and to, to Gundam Nerds specifically, I haven't actually seen the entries to GBWC yet. I, I've gone out of my way not to look at them at this point, with the sole exception of Ed Saisei, because I've been watching that for ages, and it's completely badass. Nice Ed. Um, and I haven't seen what was said about you or your work on the Elitist Gun Group. And frankly, at this point, it's irrelevant. It, it doesn't matter what was said, it doesn't matter what your build was. Um, to have an entire group taken down for hate speech is frankly a major overreaction. And while you may not be directly responsible for all of the, the reports, but make no mistake, they're responsible for this. You may not even have directly asked all these people to go report the, the group, but you're responsible for it. Alright? Uh, growing a community is no trivial thing. Um, running a community is, is no joke either. Um, Myself and TC have been working hard to keep Gundam Eclipse going for years now. And TC more than me, just to be clear on that. He's, he's the man, right? Um, and destroying one on a whim 
or because one person hurts your feelings, I think most will agree that is a gross overstatement. Furthermore, you're, you're responsible for destroying a very valuable resource in, in advice and information for new builders, old builders. And th these are your fellow gunplay builders, all right? And, and you've destroyed a resource for them. All right, now that's my advice for him. Uh, to everyone else who's hopefully listening to this skill at this point, crazy rant, um, once more, I'm merely suggesting that it's okay to have an opinion, even to be personally invested in something. But you don't need to be personally offended by every single dissenting opinion. One last tidbit of advice is just to leave them alone. Don't add fuel to the fire, don't harass or troll, just leave them be. That's it. Um, hopefully I'll, I'll find some video or something to set this to. I don't have anything on hand right now. Maybe some, some of my junk World of Tanks plays or something. That's it. Thank you for listening, guys.